Wow, that's... That is a sad song. I never know... I don't remember the song at all. I guess it's because it's only like in the... In this one ending that it shows up. You know... I gotta be honest. Sometimes I wish I could play this game again. With fresh memories. And I think the reason I want that is... There's just such magic to it. That gets ruined once you look at it too much. It's like jumping into a nice... Nice, like, pool of chocolate. First you're like, oh, this is great, and then you realize, wait, I'm in this fucking pool, and I'm ruining everything. Man, isn't this like a situation where Remy's gonna be... Like, I guess the reason Adina has something to do here is I guess it's like her friend, but Adina is like the least connected to anything that happens. Which makes her like... I give Lorem shit, but Jesus, Adina. You're like the, the the most fringe main character, which makes, makes it sad because she's like the one character with something good going on. Really? Like, no one's like, maybe this guy... I don't, I don't know, man. Like, weren't some people aware of this? Because that's pretty impressive. Man, like, this is good, good music. I don't know. I really feel that this game could have either been A, been more low down, and less, like, overly dramatic, or more. You know, really play it up. Because what we get is something that works, but it's like, mm, all I can see is what could have been. And it makes me sad. Because maybe I'm just looking, maybe I want to get too much out of it. Like, at some point, you, you, you got everything you could out of something. And anything more you want to get out of it just doesn't it's not there, it doesn't make sense. Like what what is what do you do with the situation? Like here's a kid that's technically yours but technically also mine. It's also technically everyone's child, I guess. Like, this is such an out-of-place scene, like this massive mystery that unfolds before your eyes. Like, really? Like, between all these very personal stories, we're suddenly going to have this large thing happening between everyone. Like, I don't know, it just feels too strangely grounded in a way. I kind of want to, I want to watch my old playthrough, but then I'm like, I don't want to watch my old playthrough because I don't like watching my own videos. I don't know, something about it makes me feel like a klutz.
Also, this sounds very spooky. Like, this is the kind of song you play when you're with ghosts. That's not how cancer works. <laughs> Just saying. The reason your body doesn't fight cancer is because cancer is not foreign matter. It's it's normal matter. And your, your body assumes that everything works okay. Like... The way cancer works is, your cells are doing shit they're not supposed to be doing, but there's nothing that can tell them. Like, how do you do this? Where do you start? It's a, it's a massive jump. You can't just pull it out of your ass on a Sunday morning. I like how she's leaving out the detail of, like, okay, it was a runner. Like, it was a... God damn it. Ha! Like... You could just burn it. Or, like, mash it in a stew and pour it down the drain. Like... I mean, Anna doesn't seem like the kind of person who would have a problem with scrambling a fetus into a pulp and pouring it down the fucking drain. Like, eggs don't grow that big, do they? If they do... Why not just throw it into the wild? Like, smash it. Throw it into the wild and be like, Hey, that's that's something a wild dragon ate. Like, they exist. They might come across it and go, Oh, great. Stupid parent. Fucked up. Like, this kind of ignores the fact that there's lots of parents out there who fuck up. <laughs> So did it work though? Like, is it ever explained if 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 this little kid actually had these properties? Because I don't think it's ever like specifically explained if that worked. I changed a bit. Usually there's nothing except for the experts with too much time to spare. <laughs>
I'm interested in that there's like no commented out sections here at all. God, how do you do gooders? Outrage. Also another word I use often in Dutch. So, I guess, like, can you really agree? Like, when you really think about it, Anna was trying to get this slipped under the radar. <sighs> like, man, the situation's so complicated. So how would you know this? How does Anna know this? Like, wh what suspicions, like, what grounds are there for this? Like, what if they're legitimately there for that? Like, I know they could be super suspect, but give us some ground. Like, give us some... Like, when you really think about it, Anna's actually pleading a pretty good case for herself if she wasn't such a fucking bitch! Like, if this was a person that I could give it two shits about, that was, like, a nice person that you can sort of agree with, that doesn't just kick you out over nothing, this would be a magnificent scene where you're like, oh, man... The world really has it out for you. Like, I can understand why you're bitter. But Anna's not bitter! She's a bitch! There's a difference between being bitter and, and being... Like, the, the thing with difference between being bitter and being Anna is if you are just bitter, at some point you're going to be like, and thank you for being so understanding for my circumstances. Like, I'm sorry I'm like this, but life kind of fucking blows for me! Anna never has that. She never. She always just goes, I'm just living life the way I want to and no one can fucking stop me. And I'm like, yeah, I know you're a bitch, Anna. You don't need to tell me. Tell me something new. Ugh. Like, let me get this clear. She could leave it on someone's doorstep, but she couldn't destroy it? If you can go out of the lab and deliver it to someone's house, doesn't that say that she has a conscience? Like, why don't they play it like Anna has a conscience? Deep down inside, she can't fucking kill a child. Make that the point. Don't make the point, well, I couldn't do it because it's just too difficult. Make the point, I couldn't kill a child. I'm going to make that the point, because that at least gives Anna this shred of humanity that she doesn't have otherwise.
Like, why did they make it the point? Also, the fact she just left it on someone's fucking doorstep. Just, what the hell, man? So I changed it a bit. It's like, I couldn't swallow that. Like, I couldn't handle that. No, I want it to be, like, ne I want it to be neutral. Like, like you could still read like she's being a bitch, but you could also be like, hmm, she kind of has a heart. How do I do that? So the funny thing is that we don't know about this, then, um... And now the character starts to speak, and Lorem's just there to be sad. <laughs> why are we- why are we this far along, but like, only a little bit- hmm. Actually, no. The police is in no problems because you're not legally required to check if someone's pregnant because usually the kid fucking dies. What problems could you be in? You're not responsible for the fucking body in that way. If you are, then what the fuck is going on? Then the police needs to check every fucking body for kids. That's dumb. I changed this a little bit, like, Anna, why are you so heartless? And this is like, calm, calm, everyone calm. Calm, calm, everyone calm. Wait, what the fuck is this about? Wait, Bryce was supporting Anna? Why the fuck did he do that? What motivation does Bryce have to be on Anna's side or anything? I guess it's because, I guess Anna probably like, helped him out, like, actual, like, she's an off the record, so I imagine that she had, like, done a lot of favors. Hmm. This is the problem. The fact that she's doing the facepalm thing is, is, like, such an identifier of, like, why would you ever like Anna? Sure, like, the BDMZM is nice, but at the end of the day, you're dealing with someone who's a fucking bitch, who doesn't care about you. At some point, like, oh, you're just nice, it's gonna wear off.
Man, that just fucking sucks. I changed it a bit because I really want to point out that Adin is like freaking out here. Does it even have a name or you just go for the barcode, like some sort of product? Ugh. Jesus, man. Like, I like how Adin is actually... But it just feels kind of weird. Like, you need to have another scene where this is established before you make the big finale about this, you know? Like, here's the thing. You you want to limit the amount of character development in the big finale. Like, you don't want to have a character suddenly display traits they didn't have before that aren't, like, naturally progressing from that. Like, at what point is Adin this, this forceful... Like, when it would be much more better if, like, at the beginning, Adin is, like, kind of puts her foot in the door. Like, she does, technically. But she doesn't, like, push the issue. Like, she doesn't go, like, come on! You know? Like, she's, she's very weak-spined, generally speaking. Or at very least, she avoids her problems rather than she confronts them. Which makes this so weird. Like, why not have a scene where, like, her love for, for orphans is more established, more powerful. Like, the extent. So that this is like, okay, I see this coming. Because now, it's making character developments that were already there. So you're like, okay, it's a little bit late to having these discussions. After you date everyone several fucking times and they're mechanically cold. Like, this is too late. At this point, the characters have dissolved into numbers. You can't have these feelings. Ugh. Like here, using sad properly. Like now, it actually feels like Anna feels something. So, you know what would have been better? Not include this detail. Just say, Amelia, that's it. That's all you get. Leave it to the player to be like, Hey, I remember that name! That's always fun. Because that's like, actually part of visual novel is, leave it to the player. Or maybe not, like you could do it this way. But if you want to treat your people with a little bit of intelligence, to give them that moment. Give them that hey moment. I mean, it is, I don't know. I guess at the same time, this is like, after all of that, she might have forgotten. But at the same time, you know... Like, it's a massive point for Remy.
Wow, look at these fucking feelings. And Lorm is just standing there! And Bryce is just standing there! Oh man, the situation's so awkward. Like, Bryce is, n Bryce is involved, but he has no emotional attachment to the circumstances. Um, and now everyone else is just like, oh god, the player character is still standing there and has to fucking put up with this! <laughs> wow, making a heel turn, huh? Um, so does the music change in the meantime? No. Oh, no, it's slow. Okay, let's switch to slow then. Besides, isn't Reza a little bit more important? Why? No one asked you, Lorem! <laughs> Why are you the one saying agreed? Ugh. Man, this song's really good. I feel hyped. That's weird. So, the thing that gets me is that this ending fucking sucks when you really think about it. Like, the true ending's main establishing feature is that humanity and the dragons are on good terms with each other. That is the one thing that really changes. It, it, it's such a bad ending when you really think about it. It's very unsatisfying. Um, because, you know what would have a nicer ending? Like, both sides get to live. And dragons just say, okay, after X years, we'll just fuck off. Like, I know that the meteor has a big impact beyond what is understood, but come on, man. Just come the fuck on. The ending is like, this whole plan we've set up, all this fucking effort is for nothing. Shooting Ressa is a valid alternative to this fucking plan. And that's the fucking problem! You have a gun at this point. Your character has a fucking gun at this point, and it's the valid alternative to all of this. You gotta turn, hey Bryce, I'm gonna go shoot Reza. Body body boop boop. Like, oh my god. That's the problem with the ending. Is yes, it's fine, and yes, it kind of makes sense, but it doesn't work. Like, it's not a satisfying ending. Especially after that revelation, you know? It's like, let's leave it all behind. The orf- What the fuck happens to all the orphans? Like, this situation asks so many qu I want that sequel. If only because this just- I just want to know! It's so frustrating. Ah! 31 minutes. Ah. <sighs>